All right, now we're back. We've got our power supply with the replaced capacitors on it. Um, we're going to put it in the, back into the machine, test it out, and see if we've revived another one. Um, kind of reverse the procedure. Need to plug the power cable back in. Feed the red and white cables back through the little clasp. Lay the power supply back down inside. Bolt it back into place. You do need to make sure that you have all of the screws bolting it in place because some of the screws are used to ground the power supply back to the chassis to prevent electrical shock. And you do want to make sure that all those are in place for safety. All right, now we have that. So we will again gently flip it over. Put it approximately back in the, the location where it goes. Put your tape back on this end. Now the bracket has two little tabs. The two little tabs goes back into the two little holes on the RF shield to hold it in place. And then we can plug our front panel control back in. And then on this side we can plug in our four backlight plugs. Three, four. All right. Now we can test out our unit and put our RF shielding back on. it with their tape. All right, now we get our signal cable and our power cable. Plug them in. We have a power signal and we have a display. So now we're ready to well disconnect our two cables, lay the unit back down, and put that back back onto it. Make your make sure your LCD is in place. You want to take your back cover. snaps back on. Remember to put your four screws back in. You don't really need the screws at, at this time if you're using the desk stand, but in case you ever decide that you want to do a wall mount, it's best to have the screws that are needed. And there you have it, another one saved from the garbage pile.